The markets whipsawed again today, moving up and down dramatically. But finally, the Dow closed up about 94 points on the day, which the important factor is this trend channel, albeit very slow and indecisive, it's still indicating that the uh, the bulls and the bears are kind of in a very, very slow uptrend. The NASDAQ was more compelling ever since the big piercing signal right here on the 50-day moving average. Today, the positive trading took it above this downtrending uh, resistance level of kind of this wedge formation, giving a good, strong indication that the bulls were still in control, even though indecisively, the markets are still in a slow, steady uptrend. You can also see that there hasn't been any major change of investor sentiment. When you analyze what's happening in some of the biggies, like Amazon, you still have this slow, steady uptrend that's staying above the T-line. Very simple rule of candlestick analysis. As long as you're trading above the T-line, it tells you the bulls are still in control. There isn't any major change of investor sentiment. And we were kind of demonstrating to our chat room today <clears throat> that being in situations like ZSAN, ZSAN, because of the bobble breakout, puts us in a situation where we're up over 100% over the last two trading days. So one of the questions was, well, how did you know that this was going to be a, such a big mover? And the answer is, you don't. You do know that if you see a bobble breakout, which is where they fail at the uh, moving average, pull back at a, another moving average like the T-line, and then come back up through that resistance level, the probabilities are extremely strong that you're going to be in an uptrend. Now, does that necessarily mean you're going to pick up over 100% or even 150% over a uh, two- or three-day period? Definitely not. But what it does do for the candlestick investor is put you in positions where you have a much greater opportunity to be in a situation like this. Because there's 12 major signals out of the 50 or 60 in candlestick analysis that give you a clear indication of what's happening in investor sentiment, and there's a few patterns, maybe a six or eight patterns, that you can recognize that are reoccurring situations in price movements, like the bobble pattern in our recommendation on FTK, is based upon the fact that investor sentiment works the same way time after time. Prices do not move based upon fundamentals. Prices move based upon the perception of fundamentals. Candlestick analysis is the graphic depiction of what's happening in investor sentiment. No matter what trading program you might be using, if you overlay candlesticks on your charts, you get a much more clear illustration of what's going on in those price trends. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.